Hello everybody and welcome once again to Danny and Son's Real Tech Mod Pack. In this episode I hope we're going to finish the greenhouse because it's been taking a very long time. Three episodes to make a greenhouse and that's basically to keep bees warm or damp or cold or whatever. So let's start back to the beginning again. So let's look at what we've got to do. Basically what I need is I was looking at common bees. I've been doing that wrong, by the way. I need to do forest plus meadows drones, but we'll get to that in later on. Um, so we want the greenhouse. So we need to make these blocks here, the greenhouse block. So for that, we need to make these ash bricks. That's why we were making ash. And bricks, we need to go and get some clay. And then we need to make these camouflage panelling. Now, the camouflage panelling is what we needed the biomass for. And for that we've got some red dye and yellow dye, which we've been busy getting, some wood pulp, now that's fairly easy, and some planks. And each one of these produces eight. So let's go back again. So, so it's basically one panel per greenhouse block, which I think is okay. And we need 27. Well, I'm going to do a 3x3x3 three by three by three block, um, and I think the smallest you can do is 3x3x2 three by three by high. And the largest is five by five by five. Well, so we need 27 of these things. So let's get on and start doing that. I've finished automating the, the farm. So let's go and have a look at that first of all. No, we'll go that way. <laughs> I've finished doing the, the, the multi farm and setting up the bits and pieces in there. So I haven't got all the bits and pieces we need for that yet, but we'll sort that out. Have a look at this first of all. You see, this is now turned to dirt, and that was why we put this extra ring of brick, otherwise it would be turned into grass blocks, and we couldn't then start it again. But I've got plenty of um, ash. So what I did last time is I put in, here I put, instead of the chest, I put in a stoke crate. So we're getting the dirt coming down there. So the dirt come, drops down there and goes into the stone crate. On, the, on this one here, the peak goes on the yellow side, which is this one, and then falls down into this um, furnace and makes ash. And on the other side of the furnace, we've got the, the heater here, so that's connected all in. So that's nice, quite neat, and I probably should put another chest or something here so the excess peat that can't go into the furnace goes into that. And here, oh, I've been jumped onto the thing now, haven't I? So <laughs> it's a bit of a pain. So here I basically set it up. So the last thing I had to do was to set up the carpenter. So the carpenter's now got biomass in it. And the fermenter here has got no juice at the moment because we haven't got anything in the squeezer. Well, these are now separated by pumps, which are turned on. So that's quite compact. I quite like that. So let's go and get the ingredients and come back. So I'm still jumping on this thing. <laughs> I should turn off auto. I've got, oh yes, I've got to jump on this. I'm not to jump off that. Now, what have I got in here? Anything useful? Oops, sorry. So, I've got plenty of ash in here, and I've got plenty of peat. Let's put that peat on there. Like that. I think two stacks will be enough. So, let's go up. And we need to make some dust, um, some sawdust. So, the whole, sawdust is fairly straightforward. What we're going to do to make sawdust is just put that in a log wood into a carpenter wood logs into a carpenter so we've got plenty of log wood let's take a stack of those and we won't make all of these because we we don't need that many so here's a carpenter with water on it it hasn't actually got enough water in that but we'll get some water for this we've got some three buckets here so we just need to put in let's do half a stack so we need to clear this recipe off and then just put, I thought, oh, is it wood or wood planks? I've forgotten to be honest with you. Yes, it's wood. In fact, that makes, that makes four, so 16 I'll give us a stack. So let's go and get some water and put some water into that. I can do that from here anyway, so it's not too much of a big deal. So we just right click that, put the more water into it, get that one next bucket out, put some more water into it, uh, and the last one. Oops, let's have a look how we're doing. So we've already got 48 of these, and 64 would be fine. That was well judged. <laughs> Four buckets of water. Right, so then we need wood planks. 
so we've got the sawdust we need the colors in fact i thought i'd taken the colors with me but maybe i haven't just to be a safe side i've got some more colors in here got some red we've got some yellow we need a lapis take a stack of lapis what else do we need for these panels i'll do this way as quick as one wouldn't it so planks we've got plenty of planks dust okay so I don't really need 64 wood pulp that was a bit over the top we'll also go and get some more juice berries just in case we haven't got enough and you'll see now that the chilies and tomatoes have grown <laughs> and here's the berries we can take some berries from here that's actually going to give me a bucket of biomass which is fine plenty And get down the ladders, of course. <laughs> so let's set up the recipe first of all. So we can do that easily enough. We just click on this, click on the recipe that, that, and then we can do plus and it moves all the ingredients in. So we've got the ingredients that we need. So we need, I'm going to put all of this into this because we need two lapis, two yellow, and these. We don't need so many red pulp, of course, and then we need to make some wooden planks. I think um, 64 would probably be enough, so let's do, let's just take half of those, make 64 planks and put those into here. So that's then going to take a few seconds to, to make these camouflage panelling. So I need basically four crafts of this, I think. And I don't think the biomass is going to hold up for more than four crafts so I don't worry about the extra ingredients I've got in here sixteen so that's used up five hundred millibuckets per craft isn't it twenty four and then the last one or just well as soon as we get the last one we'll flick out this wood or something like that We've got our 32. That's it. So take those out of there. And you see it's actually got a little bit more biomass. If I want to put some more juice in here, we can put some of these wild berries in there. That'll get us then and it'll come through here and it'll start to make some more biomass like that. Right. Let's get rid of this stuff that I don't need in there extra at the moment. Which is really the wooden planks. I don't know where the sandstone came from. That's a bit strange. I must have picked it up from somewhere. So anyway, so we've got those now, so that'll make those. What else do we need for that? Ash blocks. Now I haven't got enough, enough of these, so one of those is going to make... So we need a s basically 27 times 4, don't we? Which is 56, I think. They're just under a stack of those, so I need to go and get a stack of clay. Now the clay is actually not too far away, so let's look at on the map here. Basically, there's a lot of clay in this lake down the bottom here. So I shall go towards that and come back in a short while. See you in a minute. Oh, well, I've reached the lake. Here's some clay. Let's dig up this. What I'd like to do, I'm not sure if you get four blocks per um, mine. So let's just have a look at this. If I take this, this mattock, what did I get? Four, yes. Good, eight. So therefore, if I take this one, I might have some blocks underneath there. 32. So we're getting quite a decent about anyway. So, yep, dirt. We don't need so much clay, but I haven't got very much in stock. So I'm just going to quickly mine up some of this area here. And it goes quite fast because we go, we're above water, so we're breathing. So we don't need to worry about it too much. Well, I can only get to a large block, I'll just use the excavator like this, I think. And then when you get underwater, you can't we can't mine so fast. So let's just well, that'll do. How much have I got now? One and a half stack and forty-eight. Good. I think that's enough. But just to be just to be on the safe side, let's just pick up a few more blocks here. Oops, I'm full. No, I'm not full. Just hasn't picked it up yet. So what have we got now? Two and a half stacks. Huh? 
or two stacks point six. So that'll do. Right, I'll just go back to base now and I'll see you there. Well, I'm here, and as you can see, I put some already in here, so, but I think we need two stacks, if I'm not mistaken. So we'll let those go through, and they should come out and get processed into bricks. We'll get what bricks we've got anyway. Uh, there aren't that many, and I haven't got that much clay either, so what I'm going to just remove the, put into here the, what I picked up in the, in the lake. We should have some more clay down there. Well, we've got 152 now, that's good. And some bricks we've got for 27. So what we can do is to make up these ash bricks to start with. You'll, you'll notice that I put a candle on there. I was just testing whether that that was uh, the only recipe that wasn't working with the um, honey, uh, the beeswax from Pam's Harvest Crust. And it looks like it is. Anyway, let's have a look. So this recipe, here we need these. Like that. Paneling, we've got some paneling. Let's have a look at the recipe for this one. Let's go back and see if we can actually make it up. So we're missing slabs. So we're going to need, I need 27 of these, don't I? So we're going to, need, and it's basically 27 slabs, that's fairly straightforward, isn't it? So that's three sets of, let's turn these into planks. It won't do any harm with it. So I can basically count 27 out of this. I should get it 30, fine. That'll do the trick, I think. So let's get on and do this one. So that will give us six, 12. So we've already got 12 of these greenhouse blocks. So all we're waiting for now is some more clay. And that's about it. So I'll come back in a minute when I've got all the ingredients. Well, I made 32 in the end. So what the next thing we need to do is to make a greenhouse energy distributor. So we need for that three tin gears. And we'll also need to make a greenhouse control, which we need um, a golden electronic tube and have I got any gears for me I'm not sure if I made some tin gears or not I didn't so it's night time I'm gonna make some tin gears and come back in a short while so I'll see you in a few seconds right I've got the gear so we should be able to make the farm control now shouldn't we I've got one more extra ash block brick so let's do this one so we've got that one in here I've got um, some gold tubes from earlier crafting days. So let's make this control block. That's the energy distributor and the control block. Like that. Those are the essential ones I think that we need to get this thing up and running. So what I'd like to do is I'd like to go and build it quite near to the other farm. So I'm going to do very boring at the moment. Let's go to this gear. I don't need this gear with me. I made four gears instead of three. But that was uh, deliberate actually. You always need these things, it's funny. Sometimes it's just handy to have one in stock. So I would like to go and I'm going to build it out of cobblestone to start with. Three stacks will do, I think. Good. Um why did that not go? Oh, those are beetroot seeds. Okay, I'm gonna put those beetroot seeds away somewhere. Before we go out, put them in here for time being. So what I'd like to do with this is to put it near to this farm that we've got already and I'm going to set it into the ground and we'll see why in a minute so what I'm going to <laughs> I'm going to show you a trick I've thought of I want to measure this out so basically I need to, it's got to be five you can have the walls five blocks outside the greenhouse side so we need 13 blocks so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go like this get rid of all this cobblestone that I've got in here and the wood um, what's a good number 13? This'll do. Let's put down 13 to measure this for 13. So I want to start here, and I think I want the outside to be here. So let's put it down like this. Well, that's one way to measure it, isn't it? So you know exactly when you've got 13 blocks because you run out. Because you run out. In fact, it's not going to be big enough because the river's going to get in the way. So we've got one more to go. So that's the size of. The f of the greenhouse so it's big it doesn't affect yeah that'll do fine actually that's pretty good so we know how big it is so we're going to go back now and we're going to take out five of these so let's just take that take this and we can measure five and of course you've got five in your inventory then you know that you've got the right amount so this is where i want the middle to be so what i'm going to do is take the excavator and go down i know we can do it from there, no, I can't. 
going to go down three blocks like that and then we come to the stone ditch right so we're going to just go down another block and just knock this one away it should be fine there shouldn't be a problem underneath it so that's the basically the four what we size we want to do let's put this block down here and what I need to do is I want to make a passageway towards this and I want to get it so that the energy comes out so let's go down through here so that's we can do that way that and then we can go through here like this in fact I will use this yes I'll use the emerald pick so I don't want to fill up my inventory too full you see and then we come into the inside of this like that so we're one block higher than that that's a big deal so we should be able to bring this energy out into this out into here I can get rid of this block now and if I'm not mistaken probably need an extra space let's just dig an extra space around here like that so we've got some space to work and it doesn't matter about being above it so what we're going to do is put down the blocks first of all uh, so I'm going to do three by three so it's actually three by two by three in use okay so that's fine it's too small okay it must be that I see what it says so I didn't actually see that before so we want the greenhouse control to come say here and the energy distributor to go there and we can put another block down there and then we can fill it in there like this so that's layer two in fact you'll see let's go outside again now because we can go up here it'll have it'll be formed it's actually formed so that's the minimum size so to get it up one more we can do that as well so you've got the red dot that basically means that the outside temperature is not right so we basically do it like this put it in and we should then get a three by three construction and get rid of these of course now don't need these on those for my lumber racks that will probably be the fastest way of getting rid of these because they're fast good so it's got the red dot and the red dot basically tells you it's, we've not formed it's not got an outside structure that's, that's appropriate so I want to build an outside structure and it's got to be at least two blocks higher than this and it's got to be a maximum of five blocks higher. so let's just say start it here and what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my builders one actually and this is going to be a very boring structure to start with and I will fix it up later on so that's one that's three blocks there so I'm going to take it out three blocks from here like that and set it up and then I'm going to go and get my builders one which is in the um, battery box just over here I think it's over here that's funny fell under the bush didn't hurt <laughs> right yes we've got a fully charged up builders wand so fantastic it's quite possible you're going to need more than one greenhouse as well I'm not sure exactly how many we're going to need for this little project so i'm going to carry on doing this oh yes that's a bit of a problem i'm going to clash with that that was a miscalculation there we can go around like this what i probably should do is put glass on top of this shouldn't i we're going to take it out three blocks this way we'll do it like that oh it's going to clash with that as well that's not good so I'm gonna to have to move this cable uh -huh. we'll find a different way around it so that's the outside structure built so we'll just use the I'll stand one block up like that and I'll get the builders one now and then we can use the builders one for this that doesn't cover me in that case you see so then that's basically the height I'm going to do it for today and I'm going to actually I might even have a bother looking have a look at this so that's that so then we need the roof so I think the roof is going to be let's have a look I've got some more cobblestone with me and I've got lots of cobblestone in the bag haven't I 
let's put those out of the way. Made a few extra, but I don't think that's going to be a problem in the long run. So it's got to be too high. So this basically is the too high. We'll go around like this. Yeah, we're all right. We'll be underneath that, which is fine. And then we just put the roof on this. So we'll do that. Jump down. So I'm going to just put the roof like this. If I, miss, if I don't miss too much, that is. And you don't, I don't think it has to be completely covered. We'll see. So at the moment it's still red. And I think it has to be over the top of it. Still red. Probably one or two more. Oh, now it's completely black and I can't see a thing I'm doing. <laughs> Let's put this down here. Now it's green, which basically means it's formed. So I'll just put a few of these down to make sure that we don't get... We shouldn't get any mobs spawning in here anyway. So now it's formed. But it won't work yet, of course, because we haven't got any, given it any power. So we can actually have this climate sources. So we need some of these climate sources. We can replace the... Um, the, this stone we've got here for something else and I can make a door in it as well so that's no big deal let's just make a door down here for instance that was well judged um, so let's go and make those glass blocks hopefully I've got enough glass well, I'm freezing away that and it's night time of course so I'll probably make, have a look at the recipe first of all and then go and make the items and you one day I was doing this and I was working at night and I was suddenly getting attacked by skeletons on um, skeleton horses. How on the earth that got there? Because that's one of the, I think it's a quark thing. So let's have a look at what I want to do, greenhouse. So we can do these coloured ones. So we need, probably white stained looks quite nice, doesn't it? So white stained glass is dead easy. We just need glass, which we've probably got lots of, I hope. If not, I'm going to have to make some. Oh, I got six. <laughs> yeah, that's tons, isn't it? <laughs> right, I'll tell you what. I'll go and get some glass made to see in a short while. Well, I'm just waiting for another couple of blocks of glass to come out. I'm just watching the animation. That's <laughs> cool, isn't it? And you'll hear the crusher going in the background. 64 will do. So let's go and make some of these things. I need some sticks. Crusher is quite loud. I suppose that's why we have the ear muffs in the in the mod. Fortunately, we don't have to use been there too often. Actually, let's do this now. There's two recipes for this. We've got roofs, and we've got um, windows. So what I'm going to do first of all, I'm going to take this to convert this to white glass. So we need eight of these. And we're going to basically then just put it in the middle and then surround that with glass, and we should get eight. Uh, 64 white glass like that and then we can make up these so we want let's have one of those and probably need more than that of course and we'll get a window as well so the windows recipe is always <laughs> identical it's like making me smile a bit it's just this one so we've got eight windows let's make five of those and five roof tiles huh which I can do not quite enough yet to do another one of those. So th and the roof tile, the only real difference between the recipe is that. So we've got four of those, so that's nine. Okay, that'll do. So let's go and have a look what this does to the does to the um to the greenhouse. So I've some this is I haven't, I haven't done this bit yet so far. I did the other bit to see whether it would actually work because it was it's not that well documented. Uh, it's been hard to find any information about it. So here we are. So if I now come out of here and break some of these wind out here, let's have a look. Four. We've got five, haven't we? Like that. Does that still stay green? That's good. And then we can put down here these windows that we've got. I presume that is going. Oh, that's right, yes, that looks reasonable. That's interesting. So every other one actually opens up. Okay, 
Then we need to put some of these on the roof. So let's need some block to put them to get up here a bit. Actually, probably the best one is lanterns because they can break those with your hand out behind you. It's only two up, so let's go. Oops, what was I doing there? Press the wrong button, I suppose. There we go. So let's do some roof tiles as well. So we need, um, we've got, how many have we got? Four. What's that one? Orange tip from forestry. Getting quite a few butterflies. I think I said that before. It's actually still okay. The structure's still okay. We've still got a green light on it. So let's put these four down into this. And that's a, a zebra swallowtail again. So let's go and see what that effect has on the on the far. Oh, no, it's not valid anymore. Why? Do I have to close the windows? Oh, yeah. So now we've got a humidity modifier of 0.4 and a temperature modifier of 0.8 now does that mean it's gone cooler or can we change it i see so you can click on here so you can say i want desert so you need a temperature modifier of two and humidity of zero so what have we got at the moment energy is zero of course we haven't got any energy we need to set that up now obviously that's going to be fairly straightforward to do. I'm basically going to go out there. In fact, it's night time again. I'm going to have a quick sleep and come back in a few seconds. Well, I heard when I was getting out of the doorway, and it hurt. <laughs> so we can take the the cables through here. So I think we're going to have to bring one of these out. Oh, how am I going to do this exactly? If I put it on the top here. Or maybe I can put it... No, a bracket would be about too low down, wouldn't it? Maybe I can put a bracket up here. I haven't got any brackets with me, but I've got a few other bits and pieces with it. So I've got some MV cables and some connectors. We need one connector. I should have some relays. I don't know. Have I used those all? No, I haven't. I should have some relays around. Uh, I'm not sure what I've done with those. Yes, that's just from before, wasn't it? So let's connect this up here like this. And then take the connect the wire and see how far we can get from this one. Can it reach? Actually, it can reach this, but of course that's going to be in the way. So what we could do, of course, is make it break it out a little bit so we can get at that. Let's do that. That's probably going to be the best thing for now, I think. Can we see that? There to there. I may not work. So we just... Oh, we've got one block to get rid of with this one. Maybe this one too. Let's try that again. It's certainly in range, which is good. <laughs> one more block. That was a shame. It's actually got quite a drop, isn't it? We can fix this later on. It's no big deal. Now that should connect up. Fantastic. So this farm has now got power, St energy stored. It's going up fairly fast as well, so it must be generating a reasonable amount of RF at the moment. I don't know how much energy it's going to be using to do this. Fantastic. So you've got the different biomes here, I guess, that we want to set. And I think this is what the control does. So at the moment that must be that one. I don't know whether that's going to work. What's it telling me here? Camouflage sex, ash, bri ash bricks. Well, we don't, not too bothered about camouflage. Time is 4%, altitude is 0%, rain is 0%, and climate sources are range up, down, and change. So what I have to do then is to make small blocks for this. 
and there's a few more farm blocks we can do so we want to for example hydrate it so this will give more water so each one of these we require a greenhouse block in this case we just need some iron and some glass blocks here so we've got here dehumidifier that's for drier surroundings humidifier to make it wetter a fan to make it and that's which way does the fan make i think that makes it so it tells us shift for details oh that tells me just i can camouflage it fantastic <laughs> and then you've got a greenhouse heater which will make it warmer so that's for electron gold electron tubes so i think that's it for now i'm not sure i'm going to tidy it all up a bit there's <laughs> a smaller tail in here uh and put in some bee houses and get ready for that and i'll cover that i suppose in the next episode between now and the next episode it'll just come to autumn time it's taken about well i started in midwinter didn't i doing this so it's taken like uh, seven months or so to actually minecraft months those so, to actually do this i'm just going to get through there so what I'd like to do for the last thing is I've planted some ooh, grape seeds. Uh, I planted some grapes and I also planted on here, so I put some rope from um, Rustic. That's the very easy recipe and you can actually get a lot of it. So let's have a look at the recipe for rope first of all. It's just three pieces of string in a vertical line. And I don't think it matters where you do it. You get 12 rope. I don't want any more rope for the time being. I don't know how much we need for that, for that to work. Um, but the other thing I want to look at today, which was actually on my list for last week, or last episode or so, was more pollution information. So we did this one. I was carrying that across. So I'll fill in the details for episode 39, <laughs> which is basically what I've done. Um, pollution information when you br when a glass a uh, grass block grows it will eat up the carbon so let's go up here like this and you'll see there's carbon here there's no sulfur because of the fat of the chimneys the chimneys get rid of the sulfur we can break all these blocks like this and these should including the flowers get rid of the tall grass and as we break it we should see more growing almost immediately this happens it's and then whenever it grows so one of these blocks will disappear and you can maybe we could change this to a farm as well so we could actually have a farm or another thing there you go now that's probably reduced this how many blocks we've we got one two three four just go to these the risk of ending it with an inventory full of seeds of course which is what I've got and you see it's gone more so now we've got one two three so as you see it's growing and each time it grows it reduces the carbon so maybe that's a good place to put a farm I so in, in fact maybe I should even move these chimneys down one I think we can do so <laughs> I'm dropping tulips on the ground like that so let's first let's get rid of some of this stuff I've got in my inventory I don't really need chili pepper seeds white tulips and there it's going again so now we've just got these two carbon blocks so every time this grows it reduces the, the carbon sulfur on the other hand doesn't work that way sulfur will stay up there get out of the way of this and you'll see i'm making lots of glass actually i've already got a stack in here how much did i make uh three i made three stacks of oh. yes i made three stacks of glass and this is making some more gravel. There's 10 stacks of, of um, cobblestone in here that have been turned it. Try again. If there's any left in that, there isn't. We should be turning into gravel. So, I think he'll do. So I think that's it for this episode. I hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, it's quite a challenge doing the greenhouse. It surprised me a bit. And next time I want to carry on and do a few more bees. Uh, I hope. I'd like to at least get to a common, a common bee of some description. So until then, bye for now.